Our first speaker is Nicole Nagelli. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you should. Nicole you really Nagelli. Should. 13-year-old entrepreneur, award-winning author, and animator. But let me just tell you one thing, and this is pretty much all you need to know before you lift the roof off the Oriental Theater, is that you're about to see this woman, and she is 13 years old. So please, Ignite Denver, give it up to Nicole Nagelli! What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. If you're Hamill trash like me, you probably recognize this quote from Hamilton. This part of the song always stuck with me, and I can't seem to stop thinking about it, so what is a legacy? Does it matter? Why make one in the first place? Basically, legacies are made to avoid the inevitable, being forgotten, because we'll all be forgotten one day. Even incredible people like Steve Jobs, Mary Curie, Martin Luther King Jr. will all be forgotten eventually, but what they did will live on. Their legacies will live on. Their legacies affected the entire future. They changed everything. Because of amazing people like these, the world is like infinity times better than if they had never existed in the first place. The people who create legacies will die and be forgotten along with the rest of us, but their legacies are immortal. Legacies do affect the future, but they're definitely not made in the future. They're what we do today. You're probably wondering, why is a 13-year-old talking about legacy? I have my whole life ahead of me, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. Kohonaho, tomorrow may never arrive. I'm not sure. I'm talking about legacy because legacy is what shapes the world around us. All my role models, Steve Jobs, Anne Frank, Walt Disney, and so many more, they all left a legacy. And I'm starting to make mine too. When I, when I was 12 years old, I founded my company and three cartoons. That same year, I wrote and illustrated uh, my first graphic novel, The Adventures of Kate the Cat, which won the 2016 Moonbeam Children's Book Award for Best Book by Youth Author. Uh, last November, I published my second book, Kate the Cat's Christmas Mystery. And I know with these books, I'm impacting the lives of everyone who reads them. When people tell me how much they enjoy my books, it makes me feel really happy, and I feel like I'm making a difference. For me, that's my legacy, because legacy isn't what you leave for you. It's how you impact the lives of the people around you. And legacy, if we simplify it, it's actually the combination of three important things. The first of which is passion. Passion is that surging, burning flame inside each and every single one of us. It's sort of like a conscience. It tells you whether you like something or whether you might not, like a job, a hobby, or a sport, your passions make you, you. They drive you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. So passion is the fire that fuels our legacy. The second thing you need for a legacy is vision. Vision is the visualization of your destination. There's this one part in Alice in Wonderland where Alice is talking to the treasure cat. She's asking him for directions. So she walks up to him and she's like, um, excuse me, Mr. Cheshire Cat, will you tell me which way I ought to go from here? Uh, that depends on where you want to get to. Uh, I don't really care where. Well then, it doesn't matter which path you take. So, vision is like a road map that guides you to your destination. The last and most important thing you need for a legacy is action. One of my favorite quotes is, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Remind yourself of your vision every day. So Steve Jobs every day would wake up and ask himself this very important question. If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? 
If the answer is no for too long, it means you have to change something. It means you have to take action. And if you don't know what to do, consider this. Every problem in the whole world has one solution. It's a fairly vague solution, but it's vague on purpose. And that solution is, all of us have to learn the value of the things and people around us and help each other. So, just in small steps. So if you want your legacy to change the world, all you have to do is help the people around you. So, and that, that will never be forgotten. So, what's your legacy? Thank you. Hey, good job. That's great. That's great. Nicole Nagelli. That was awesome.